Welcome back to more of the game of Life Sandbag. Let's play of Pokemon Blue Kaizo. I'm speed running the intros now because I don't have time for this. We gotta go. I gotta level up some pokes. And I don't have time for it. I mean, I do. Obviously, I'm doing it. But I... I do not have the time necessary today to be able to like sit around and you know record 30 or 40 minute episodes don't have it just give me all the electric types no more no more coughings with smokescreen where one smokescreen causes me to miss every attack please and thank you what's it going to take to get Ronhorn to level up here I need to know. Inquiring minds need to know. 4,800 experience points. That's not going to happen in this run. <laughs> it's going to get knocked out before I get it gets 4,800 experience points. Is this Grimer going to use Explosion on me also? I'm faster than it? Really? Okay. All right. It's so slow having to level up in an area that is right next to an area where you can get such better experience points when I know I can't do it because Rhyhorn will probably get defeated by anything over there. You have Sludge and Toxic? Alright, I'm using an antidote because I'm not I don't want to walk back yet. I want to keep leveling up here. Please. This is not worth it. I know it isn't. Watch, this thing's going to use Dig. Oh, it didn't. Okay. Is it going to do the same thing it did last time? Wow, it did exactly the same move order it did last time. I fought it. Slash first turn, Sand Attack second turn, Dig third turn. Weird. Oh, well. Okay. I know Rhyhorn is not going to be... I'm not going to level it up before I have to go and heal it. That's fine. I just want to be able to get it close to leveling up. Which I know I checked like two or three battles ago. 2900. Okay. I think I was at like 4800 before, so... We're getting there. Very, very slowly. That's fine. I'm expecting it at this point. Was not expecting a crit. Okay, can we get out of here? Okay, we got out of here before I had to fight anything. That's good. Okay, let's focus on Gyarados and Scyther and Arcanine. Over here. Not expecting a Lickitung. Never expecting a Lickitung. We've discussed before about the feasibility of a Lickitung wrapping a Gyarados with its tongue. I would just prefer that the game not waste my time by having a five turn wrap, but. Oh well. What's it going to take Gyarados to level up here? Oh, that's much less than I thought it was going to be. Okay, that's good. I thought it was going to be like 5,000 more experience points. Turns out, no. It's actually much less. So that's great with me. Okay. I think level 40 is a good goal to hit. For everything. Except Magneton, obviously, because I can't do much around here. I can try to fight certain some things with Magneton out here. Like, Butterfree would be great. Scyther would be great to fight with. Or fight against. Okay, level 40. Didn't learn any moves. That's okay, though. I'm going to try Magneton first. Just because Magneton is, like, way under-leveled compared to the rest of my team. Uh, oh, only 73 XP to level up, huh? Let's try it. 
Please don't be a grass type. What did I just say, game? Okay. Uh, this isn't going to do much, is it? I'm sure it won't. No, of course not. Let's see how much the Thunderbolt does. I imagine not much. Even though Weeping Bell is not a particularly defense Pokemon, it's still going to very easily tank my hits. That's okay. If I survive this fight, Magneton will level up. Okay, good. I really wish I had a fishing rod right now, other than the old rod. It would just be, it'd be such a big difference to be able, to, if I had like the good rod, to be able to just, you know, fish for random Pokemon. Then Magneton, it'd be so easy to level it up. At least that's the idea. I don't know. Okay. What is it going to take Arcanine to level up here? 4657. Okay. Good start. Besides that Magnemite I saw earlier. Well, the Magnemite was a Steel type in this generation. Then I'd be totally fine with fighting it with Arcanine. But no. It is just electric. If you just want to throw Glooms my way, I will take that happily. I'd rather you send me Butterfreeze or Scythers. Not those. I don't want to fight like a Tonks. I'll try. I don't expect to defeat this. Okay. Crit mattered. Crit happens. It's fine. It's all good. Okay. Oh, my everything hurts. You have those days where your everything hurts. You just want to lie in bed, eat pizza, or anything else. Or boneless chicken wings, or something else you can just hold in your hands, not something you have to, like, use a knife and fork to eat. I want one of those days today. I wouldn't mind one of those days, most days, actually. But I can't, because I have to pay the bills. Or at least, you know, contribute to bills. Because that's how capitalism works. Uh, you work or you die. And there's no in-between. <laughs> Yay. As Austin Powers said, Yay, capitalism. All right. I shouldn't complain that much about it. I do have a job that... I don't want to say I, I hate it. For half a second there, my eyes were not focused very much, and I thought that was a Mewtwo. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, I have a job. It exists. It's not the worst thing in the world. They get paid for it. And, yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. Like, it, it is what it is. Okay, good. Arcanine's level 40. Fantastic. Okay, Scyther. Uh, still gonna be a while. Okay. Well, so you can get Scyther up to level 39. I didn't see how much XP it was going to take to level it up. I'd like to get Scyther up to level 39. Then I will try to focus on getting Rhyhorn to level 40. And I'll try to get Scyther up to level 40. Like, I knew that was, should, I knew that was going to do a lot of damage. Because it was, it was Slash, but still. Yeesh. Okay, 3400. That's not horrible. It's not great. It's not horrible. It's not great. It's not horrible. It's not great. I guess I'll stop. All right. Mm. 
That, by the way, I will freely admit. I Obviously, I take a lot of bits from other things, other more successful or more uh, talented individuals. That was from the early early 2000s, I want to say. Mid-2000s, I think. Uh, TV show Penn and Teller's Bullshit, which was an interesting show for interesting show for the time. You can hear, okay, that is a, wow, okay. There is a car with a subwoofer so loud, my windows are rattling. I hate that. Why do people do that? Why is it a thing that exists? Why are there subwoofers so loud that other people's windows and floors rumble? so annoying because the people who do that obviously don't care about anybody else in the world besides themselves like all they care about is their own pleasure like what what does it take for someone to bother in the slightest to think about whether or not something that they are doing might be affecting somebody else in this world Negatively. It doesn't take much. I'd like to think it doesn't take much. But obviously there are enough people in this world that obviously don't give a shit about any other one in, about in the world besides themselves. That they do that or they go to parties or weddings in the middle of a pandemic. And they don't care about other people. All they care about is themselves and their own pleasures. I don't know. I got nothing to say about that. I, I, don't, I don't know what else to say. It's just frustrating living in, in a world, in a country where people, where a large portion of people, not the majority, thankfully, but where a, a large portion of the people just don't care that a pandemic has been raging for the last year. They just go about their business. They see people. They hang out with people. They don't wear masks. They don't wash their hands. They don't social distance. They just do whatever because they want to hang out with their friends or they want to go to restaurants or they want to, you know, go into the office or just do attend parties. Don't think in the slightest about anybody else. That this might affect. I wonder what it's like to have that kind of mentality. To not give a shit about anybody else besides yourself. Because my mentality is kind of the opposite of that. I don't give a shit about myself. But I care. I, I focus so much on making sure other people are happy. That I don't care about myself. And I think that is... It's definitely translated to... A lot of, like, mental issues that I have. Because, like, I definitely... I feel like this is not the right place to talk about this. So I probably won't talk about it. But... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not gonna... I guess I've aired my grievances for now. I don't feel like I need to do any more at the moment. Much as I might not necessarily want to, but just because there are grievances to air. But I guess now is not the place to do it. Now is not is neither the place nor the time to do it, I guess. So we'll just play a stupid video game for another hour. And then just go back to bed for another three hours. Please evolve. God damn it. Okay. I was really hoping I was going to get ride on out of that. Turns out, no. I guess it's level 42 or 44 or 75. I don't know. That did 
almost no damage. Good, great. Pa I'm paralyzed, but I'm still faster. How? Whatever. All right. I know. I, you know no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to tempt fate there. I was like, I could just walk back 30 feet. Get rid of the paralysis. Try to get Scyther up to level 40. Even though I don't think I'm going to use Scyther much in Rock Tunnel. It doesn't seem like I'm going to anyway. I don't know. Okay. I mean, it's good for, like, just hitting very hard. But it's not really good for much else. With Like, it has Slash, and that's it. It has nothing else of use. Okay. How much is it going to take to get this thing up to level 40? 4,500 XP? I just don't care enough. I'm sorry. I'll work on it later. I'm just... I want to make progress again in the game. And when you have to stop every, like, hour or so to just level grind for an hour, it really kind of puts a damper on this game. Which I'm not going to say this game is great. The Kaizo version, I should say. It's okay. But, like, just being forced to stop and level grind every so often, it just gets tiring after a while. And I just want to make progress. But you can't. Because you're fighting... You're invariably fighting trainers with Pokemon that are much higher level than you, and there's nothing you can do about it except stop and level grind. So, here we are, again, back in Rock Tunnel, for the, I think, fourth or fifth time. Hopefully, our levels are at a decent enough point where I don't have to constantly go back to the Pokemon Center. I probably still will, because Trainer's Pokemon are still, you know, 41, 42, level-wise, whereas I'm just scraping by at level 40. And every time I go back through, I have to use four or five repels. I didn't go the right way, did I? I have to use four or five repels just to get back to where I was. Only to... Only to have to fight like one or two trainers and then leave again because their Pokemon are too strong. <laughs> and then start the process over again. Okay. I, 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 I finished off. I beat this guy, right? I'm pretty sure I did. God, I hope I did. Okay, good. Okay, where are we going? I'm assuming, well, we have to go to the left because there's no other way to go. Uh, do we keep going? No, it's to the right. Oh, there was another trainer there. I didn't even notice him. I was so focused on trying to see where to go next that I didn't even notice that trainer there. Okay, Graveler is fine as long as he's not faster than Gyarados, which I'd be very surprised if he was. Okay, good. I don't think that crit mattered, but thanks anyway. Golduck. Now I wish I'd leveled up Magneton. Because I think Golduck had a pretty bastardy moveset. That's not a good start. Magneton just doesn't have enough HP. It's just, it's not enough. I need more HP on this thing. Oh god, a Mr. Mime? Are you kidding me? This is going to be atrocious. Arcanine, please save me. Arcanine might be faster. Never mind. Oh, that did not do as much damage as I thought it would. You're not using Psychic. 
Why are you not using Psy or Psybeam, I guess? Oh well, whatever. I don't want to have to go back and heal yet. I'm sorry. I fought one battle. I don't want to go back. I realize that I'm going to have to spend a bunch of money to replace the super potions and paralyze heals that I used in this one battle. But I do not want to go back after one fight. Okay. It's not this way, is it? It might be this way. Looks like it might actually be this way. I'm not even going to bother exploring other routes if I seem to find the right way to go. Because there's no point. It's all just dead ends otherwise. Okay. I think there might be one more... What is this? Uh, Rock Tunnel, Cerulean... Cerulean City, Lavender... Yeah, I know. Thank you. But okay, whatever. Okay. Is there another trainer around here somewhere? There is, right there. Okay. I'm going to save. And then we're going to fight this trainer next time. So thanks everybody for watching this episode of Pokemon Blue Cut. So please click the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel for more of this. I'll talk to you all next time.